everyone who would come to visit the Benedict that our own time here is limited and to make the most of it. And lest you think that is a very depressing message, I can tell you that for centuries in cemeteries, they used symbolism that was way more graphic than this. If you go to cemeteries in Massachusetts, you will see, or anywhere in New England, you will see skeletons on old gravestones or skulls and crossbones, sometimes Latin inscriptions, which you can find in the old Dutch churchyard, with things like memento mori, which literally translates to remember you will die, or Morris Vinci Omnia, which means death conquers all. <laughs> so they kind of softened the message a little by the 19th century, and you get beautiful things like the hourglass. But I can tell you guys, there's nothing like working in a cemetery in the middle of a pandemic to make you realize that nobody knows how much time they've got left. So it's a great thing that you came on Robert's fun day out, right? <laughs> You've got to seize each day and make the most of it. And that is what the hourglass is meant to remind us of. But I can add that in my almost 10 years here, I've walked these grounds a lot. And this is the one and only hourglass that I have found in any form, in any way. So it's very unusual, and I love the things that are so unusual, and I like to share that with visitors. The door also has a crescent moon and a star. That is also a reference to mortality, because if you think about the cycles of the moon, how it waxes and it wanes, that's what's happening here. But it also has a very practical function, because when we were talking about the receiving vault around the corner, and we were thinking on how, how awful that must have smelled. Notice how this goes all the way through the door. And then at the base, mm -hmm. you have holes. So again, fresh air. So it's beautiful, but it's practical too. It has a nice uh, ability to, to let in some circulation there. So very unusual here, and I think it is a great place to stop. And Hopefully you will not take that away as, as a depressing, grim 